What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your buddy, 14 Prime. Today, uh, we got a couple images from, remember a couple weeks ago, they were talking about the uh, junior novels for uh, little kids. And I, you know, of course I'm interested in it. Um, I have a two year old, I'd love to read these to them. They look a little violent on the cover, but hey, that's what makes little boys men, right? Um, I think these are going to be, you know, a great read. I have read um, a couple of the other ones, the older publications from years ago, because I had kids that were smaller back then too. But um, with no further ado, here's a couple pictures of the new publications. Here's the um, a way better look at Scourge. Um, of course, these are, you know, CGI, hand-drawn, whichever. Um, but we do get a way better look at the character. I think these images look amazing. Um, I like how the fire is, like, inside of him. You know what I mean? Um, which I believe will be the blood of Unicron, you know, coursing through his veins or whatever, fueling his anger. Or, how, you know, however they end up doing it. But that's what I think it is. I'm being that in my mind, this is going to be finally the Unicron trilogy that we've been waiting for. So anyway, if that's, you know, something you've been looking forward to or looking into or you can't wait to see, um, those pictures are now available. Um, I don't know when the books do release. I'm guessing shortly before the movie or maybe during. Um, we will find that out later. Now, to what I wanted to talk about today, or if you ever... There's a, like, if you know there's a game coming out and you can't wait to play it, so you just start going through the catalogs of that franchise, Transformers, and just to quench your thirst or just to appease that feeling of being able to play something Transformers related. Well, I kind of felt like that uh, today. Um, you know, just with the lack of more information about reactivate um it kind of makes me want to go back and play war for cybertron again all the way through and play fall of cybertron again all the way through while i was playing it i was thinking you know some of the things that we've learned about reactivate is that this is not going to be our normal Autobots versus the Decepticons kind of game. Um, in this game, the humans have already lost. The humans were the ones that lost out. The humans were the ones that had their planet taken from you know this legion of enemies or aliens or whatever. And the point of the game is to, and, and this is the one thing that I thought about too, do you start off as a human that finds the remains of an Autobot? Or is that like, is that going to be done by cutscenes? You know what I mean? Like, do you physically have to go find your first Autobot to then start, or Decepticon to then start playing as said robot? You know, uh, there's a lot of speculation around this game because we still don't, there's a lot we don't know. The only thing we do know is that you will eventually you eventually go through and collect parts and pieces to your robots to armor them up against this legion. Um, is Shockwave behind the legion? We don't know. Is um, is Unicron behind the legion? We don't know. We hope so, but we don't know. Uh, I do hope that, and, and that was the thing too with playing. Uh, WFC and FOC today. I hope that this game still retains the urgency of like clearing out a level, you know, and the puzzles. Like for instance, when you play as Jazz in Fall of Cybertron, the grappling hook, um, the weapons that you get to use, the shockwave gun that spins the two balls around with the current between them and wraps around the enemy until it explodes. I, that is visually amazing. I hope they keep things like that in this game. You know, I'm going, I gotta say, I am going to miss, hopefully I'm wrong, but I'm going to miss 
fighting Decepticons or fighting Autobots as, you know, the opposite faction. With this game, I feel like, I just, I hope they switch it up with the enemies, like the legions of, and you, you know, you saw in the cutscenes the giant thing that ran towards you. Yeah. What if it does transform? Wouldn't that be awesome? You know, or what if this, the legion or whatever is some type of transformer that we just don't know about, or it's like the heralds of Unicron, um, like the spawn of Unicron that we're fighting. The driving aspects of Fall of Cybertron, you didn't have too much, but the fact that you could was awesome. I, I, I hope that they focus on that also. Like there's a little more driving, there's a little more vehicle-based missions or missions that you can walk through them or play it again and drive through them. Uh, we also learned that this game is going to be free to play. That kind of concerns me. Uh, and my, own, my concern is that games that are free to play usually, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know. When I hear free to play, I don't want to play it. If this was going to be on shelves, you know, for $49.99, $69.99, whatever, however much games are nowadays, I would feel a little bit more strongly about the content that's going to be in it. But, I, you know, there's so many people saying so many different things. Oh, it's going to be like Destiny. It's going to be like Gears of War. It's going to be like Gears of War and Destiny had a baby. But we don't know. We don't know. We have yet to find out. But I'm going to go into this as, as positively as possible. Um, all positive thoughts is A, one, it's a new Transformers game. Two, it's got to be around the corner. At least we'll play it before this, the end of the year. Um, the missions where you, like say if you're playing as Bumblebee and you're in like the Chicago part and then you stumble across, I don't know, uh, Octane, uh, Slipstream, and you get her all put together and then you play as her fighting these people and so forth and so on. Like, will, hopefully will there still be, will there still be a mix of the fighting elements? I know it's a melee brawler, I know it's a shooter, um, <clears throat> but I just, I don't know, I'm interested to see how they tie it all together with you just being a robot and then you find another robot and you find and like you slowly build up your army of these people of these you know of these robots or whatever to fight the legions um i don't know I, it, it's and i'm you know with multiplayer i'm sure that's a big thing that everybody is waiting on because then you can pick your robot against said robot or you know you might be able to be the legion like in gears of war you can play the horde but, it was a dope part of Gears of War 3. It was a downloadable content. And it was like, the guys were like super huge and they could rain down like shards and bats and stuff. Um, but like, yeah, I, I know a lot of people are looking for that, but people like me that just, I can't wait for the campaign. Um, and I hope the campaign isn't like a three hour, four hour campaign. Like give me at least 12 hours, you know, of, of gameplay if not more you know you don't have to do the whole remember when mass effect 2 came out and one of the major points of the game when they were advertising it was that the game was over 240 hours long we ain't gotta do all that we ain't gotta do all that and i did beat mass effect 2 i beat the first one second one, and the third one second one was still my favorite but um yeah and i i finished it around 245 245 hours um, so anyway, a lot of late nights, a lot of late nights. But anyway, I'm not going to hold you. It's your buddy, the 14th Prime. Just want to get those things off my chest, get y'all, uh, get, let y'all see these images of the new publications, these new little junior novels. You all have a wonderful afternoon. As for me, myself, I'm going to take all my Decepticons down from the diorama over there and finish the diorama. I think I either might put an upstairs in the Decepticon headquarters like an upstairs and then like stairs or i might just close it in and i don't know what do y'all think let's hear some spin you around so y'all can see it
I kind of want to put it upstairs. You know, because it would fit. I could take, I could put an upstairs on it. But, uh, I, I don't know, that kind of does look cool. And then put like a little staircase and then block it off on the other side. But anyway, Shabbat the 14th Prime. Y'all have a wonderful Sunday.